Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I got to turn this off. What has happened is the last video I ended up getting called into that meeting, which we have every four days, uh, Monday through, or excuse me, Tuesday through Friday. And so now I'm finally getting back to this. It is 1038, which means that this is almost three hours from when I started the previous video, so I had to stop that video and continue it. Now, I didn't listen to where I ended up at, and that was okay, because all I was explaining is that throughout this country, our information is being collected, gathered, stored, and that's illegal. Now, it's not illegal for the most part, because you all gave consent. You keep signing these agreements. You keep clicking on buttons. Okay, but you don't realize you have a right to change the agreement. You just have to give notice. Many of you haven't even attempted to do that, nor have you been doing that. We're going to provide a service for that, but we're not just going to be doing just the Internet. Oh, no, 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 no. Because when you get our service, we're going to be paying a service to do that for you. So we're going to take care of that, but we're also going to be taking care of it on a national level because you have all of these organizations within your state and within the nation that is collecting and gathering information on you including the NSA, uh, the NSA and the Department of Defense the Department of Defense has no business collecting information on anybody in America not a single iota inf information that includes the CIA and all the other alphabet soup organizations there is no law that allows them to collect your private data, your private information, your private identification information. There is no law. There's no such thing as a policing right. Yeah, the state has the right to uh, put in laws that helps police and govern. However, there is no law that allows them to do that with private property. Your intellectual property, your private property, your identity belongs to you. It doesn't belong to them. Thus, they don't have a right there is no law. They can't make a law. Why? Because the First Amendment prohibits and abridges them, abridges them, not abridges you, for making a law which abridges your rights under the Bill of Rights. See, we've been looking at the Constitution, not me, we as people, as if each amendment is its own separate instrument. Notice what it's called. The first 10 amendments are called what? The Bill of Rights. It's a total bill. It's the French fries, it's the milkshake, and it's the hamburger. Not a quarter pounder. You don't want a quarter pounder. That stuff is deadly. I mean, anyway, my bad. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's the full bill of rights, not the partial bill of rights. So a violation of one of those bills of rights is a violation of their oath of office, a violation of your rights, a violation of the law. They don't get to do that. All right. That's all I, I was trying to say. We're going to be starting that program. Do not inquire about it because you're not going to get an answer. We're going to let you guys know. Oh, by the way, <laughs> please understand, we're going to be doing something rather unique. The TTOPP organization, the Threat Outbreak Preparedness Program, well, many of you who are SAT packers, you've seen that name before in your documents. That's where your credits are coming from because the credits were assigned to TTOPP by way of donation some time ago. TTOPP is a nonprofit organization. It is a member benefit organization, or what they refer to as a private member association. It was designed and set up that way. There are two trusts associated with the TTOPP organization. Two trusts, one master, one minor. Then there is the private membership organization's agreement. Ladies and gentlemen, it just so happens that I did a consult with someone and they did their private member association. I didn't tell them about TTLPP and what we had done because I could only deal with the consult regarding their information. But they had done something similar. The only thing they didn't do that we did is we have an arbitration clause in our 
private member association agreement. Everyone who signs up for this program will have to, will have to, it's an obligation, sign up for the private membership association. Here's the thing. Now, I know, I know, we're, I'm giving away ideas, and I don't care. What happens is when you sign up for this program, you get to automatically, by signing up for this program, convert your all-caps name to a special purpose vehicle. And you stipulate that any time that name is rendered in all caps, because it is your property, it shall signify, and you will dictate, well, it'll be spelled out, what it signifies, so that nobody gets to sit up there and play games with your name ever again. Now, people say, well, they don't have no way to ignore paperwork. They don't ignore paperwork. It's just you guys are not presenting. Stop saying you submitted paperwork. You don't ever want to submit no paperwork to nobody. Why would you submit? Go ahead and look at our website. We went out of our way to not use the word submit when you click on any button. I don't need you submitting to us. Why, why would you submit to any human? Uh-uh. Now, I know Paul, through the scriptures, speak about submitting to the superior authorities, but he's talking about submitting to Jehovah. Not that the superior authorities is Jehovah, no, but they, he says right next in the next verse, for they sit or stand and they're relative, related to what? Related to the authority that's been given to them through ordination, ordained, okay? They have been allowed to be in power. That's what he's saying, submit to that authority. The power that has been granted them. Well, guess what? In the United States, as I said again, there is no law allowing them to take your information, hold on to it, and then use it against you. Go ahead. Find it. I dare you. You know, if you're incarcerated, you're incarcerated for a crime that you committed. That better be one of the penalties. Because if it's not one of the penalties, they don't get to hold that either. If that's not written in the actual statute that upon arrest, we get to keep that information until you get released because once your sentence is complete they don't get to keep nothing okay and they can't congress cannot make a law by the way do you know when people are arrested and they get released from prison they're said that they lose rights no you don't go look at the 13th amendment involuntary servitude is illegal they can only take away a right for so long as you are incarcerated and are serving a sentence. Once your sentence is complete, you no longer are without rights. They don't get to take your rights away. Again, that's what this program will be talking about. I'll, we'll be updating you guys uh, more about the program. At, I literally said to myself, we weren't going to do this. We weren't going to do this, but they started passing all these stupid laws. Uh, Somebody just sent me a chat GPT. Give me a second. I got to pause it. Look it up, ladies and gentlemen. It's called the United Nations General Assembly PAC for the Future. Now, that's the document right there. I received it from someone, and I sent it to about 20 other people. And the guy is saying that chat GPT is saying everything that I said, that I've been saying. Ladies and gentlemen, let me let you guys know something, okay, so that you all get it, because it's very important for you all to understand this. I don't talk about something I'm guessing about, okay? I only talk about what I already know. I don't do any studying. This is stuff i known from years ago or stuff I'm allowed to understand, permitted to understand. But I'm only going to give you that information. They're getting ready to come up with all of these laws that are going to restrict your rights even more. And the reason why they can do that is because of these adhesion contracts to these other contracts. Well, you need to unadhese yourself from these contracts. That's right. You heard what I said. Unadhese. My word. I get to create words. They create words. I create words all the time. So unadhesion yourself from these contracts so that you can live. So that you can breathe right now you guys can't breathe right now you're suffering because you've given up so many rights that you can't breathe 
okay? Well, we're going to try to help people breathe. Respiration, okay? All right, got to go. Y'all take care. Speak to y'all when we speak to y'all. Arrivederci.